Los Angeles Coliseum. The LA Coliseum is a legendary stadium in Southern California. It first opened in 1923, and it's hosted the Olympics multiple times. It's also had many other sporting events. Recently, it was the Rams' home stadium, and it was home for USC football as well. But the stadium has also been used for Major League Baseball, and it didn't go so well. It was first the home of the Los Angeles Dodgers from 1958 to 1961, and in 2008, they played an exhibition game with the Red Sox. It's clear that the stadium was not built for baseball, and the dimensions of the field were crazy. Left field was just 250 feet from home plate, center field was 425, and left field was 301. An All-Star Game and the World Series were played there in 1959, and the stadium got over 92,000 fans at a World Series game. In 2008, when the Red Sox played the Dodgers, the attendance for the game was 115,000. When the Dodgers played there in 1959, there was a 40-foot screen put up in left field because of the distance being so short. Overall, the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome. The Metrodome was the home field for the Minnesota Twins from 1982 to 2009. The stadium was built in the 1980s, when indoor stadiums and artificial turf were popular. And because of the cold weather in Minnesota, it seemed like a good idea. The stadium was shared with the Minnesota Vikings, and had to be transformed back and forth from a football stadium to a baseball stadium. This made right field and center field a little weird with the stacked bleachers. Another big problem was the roof. The roof was painted a white color that looked very similar to the color of a baseball. And some fly balls even bounced off the speakers hanging from the ceiling. The roof also collapsed five times. Most of the times it was from snow, and four out of the five times happened in the 80s. The final time was probably the most famous, and it happened in 2010, after the Twins had already moved out. The Twins moved to Target Field in 2010, and have been there ever since. Baker Bowl Baker Bowl was a stadium in Philadelphia, and home of the Phillies from 1887 to 1938. This is another stadium that had some pretty weird dimensions. Left field and center field were pretty normal at 331 feet to left and 408 to center, but right field was just 280 feet. The overall shape of the stadium and field were unusual. The left field seats came out and then ended near center field at an odd angle. Then right field had a 40 foot high wall because of how close it was. The original dimensions may have been even more weird. In 1885, the stadium was designed to have a 425 foot left field, 330 foot center field, and 290 to right. More seats were then added, which helped a little bit, but created the weird angles in the outfield. Montreal Expos Stadiums The Montreal Expos were an MLB team from 1969 to 2004. Then they moved to Washington DC and became the Nationals. When they were a team, they had two stadiums, and both of them were pretty strange. The first one they had was called Jerry Park. Jerry Park had a capacity of just 3,000 fans before the Expos arrived, and was mainly used for youth baseball. Changes were made, and the capacity was raised to over 28,000, but the stadium still didn't seem like a big league stadium. The Expos only played there until 1976, and then moved on. Their next field was Olympic Stadium. Olympic Stadium was built in 1976 for the Olympics in Montreal, and the next year, the Expos moved into the stadium. There was supposed to be a giant tower and retractable roof, but both had construction problems for years, and were eventually added. There was problems with the building over the years, mainly with the roof of the stadium. Some years it was open, other years they had a roof. The stadium went through three different roofs. The entire place was also remodeled in 1999. Overall, most people just didn't like it and felt like it just wasn't for baseball. The attendance got extremely low and the Expos ended up leaving town. However, in more recent years, there have been a few MLB exhibition games played at the stadium. Exhibition Stadium Exhibition Stadium opened in 1959 and was the home of the Toronto Argonauts of the Canadian Football League. When the Toronto Blue Jays became an MLB team in 1977, this became their home field. Right away, you could tell that the stadium just wasn't made for baseball. Most of the stadium wasn't bad until you got to the right field wall, which had the football field behind it and a scoreboard far back beyond that. The stadium also had problems with seagulls and bad weather over the years. The Blue Jays ended up moving to Rogers Center in 1989. 
Tropicana Field. Tropicana Field has been the home of the Tampa Bay Rays since they joined the MLB in 1998. The stadium first opened in 1990 and has a domed roof and artificial turf. For a long time, fans have called it to be one of the worst stadiums in baseball. Dome stadiums in general have not been liked by fans for many years, and Tropicana Field is a pretty typical dome that a lot of people find outdated. One cool thing about the stadium is a real raised tank in right center field that sometimes players that sometimes players hit home. Oakland Coliseum. The Oakland A's began playing in the Coliseum in 1968. The stadium was built to be both a football stadium and a baseball stadium, and the Raiders also played there for many years. The way the field was built was that instead of the baseball field being in the corner like many stadiums, it was in the middle. This caused the infield dirt to be right in the middle of the football field when games were being played. This also made for some really large foul ground in baseball. The field is very unique, especially with the tall seats in center field, but many fans ranked it as the worst stadium or one of the worst stadiums for years. Games have been known to have a very low attendance because of this. Griffith Stadium. This was the home of the Washington Senators from 1911 until 1960. When the stadium was being built, there were several homeowners nearby who refused to sell their properties. Because of this, the stadium had a sort of weird shape. There was also a street beyond right field, which made the distance a little bit short and had a high wall put up. Overall, the field had one of the strangest outfields ever because of these, and it could be dangerous to chase fly balls. Center field came in at a weird angle, and right field was strange as well. Babe Ruth was once knocked unconscious when he ran into the right field wall trying to catch a ball. The field was home to the Senators until 1960 when they moved to Minnesota and became the Twins in 1961. The Polo Grounds The Polo Grounds is possibly the strangest MLB stadium of all time. It originally opened in 1890 and was home to the New York baseball giants from 1891 until 1957. Then they moved to San Francisco. They were also the home of the New York football giants from 1925 until 1955. The stadium was also home to the New York Yankees from 1913 to 1922 and the New York Mets from 1962 to 1963. It was built for the sport of polo, which is how it got its name and shape, but would end up being used for baseball. The dimensions of the field were insane. It was 279 feet to right field, 258 to left, and 483 feet to center field. The bullpens were also on the field of play in right and left center field and were on the warning track. Center field is the most well-known area of the field. The polo grounds was used until 1963. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.